To give a little bit more information um, on why and the reasons behind hand watering, we've come out the 15th green. Um, we've got an automated irrigation system which works fantastic. An automated irrigation system puts a set amount of water on as it passes with a blanket of water equally across the green. Um, this is timed and normally put on through the night, but the majority of times all of the green does not need irrigated. So if you look behind us here, we've used some varied percentages across the service to illustrate the percentage of moisture content within that specific area. So if you could imagine, the majority of the green might be perfect, but there's only them small areas which need to be irrigated. So if we were putting a full blanket automated system on, we were actually overwatering the majority of the green. So what we do is we like to take a lot of guesswork out and we use a moisture meter. So this is a TDR, it measures the volumetric moisture content in the soil. A current sent between the two prongs and that tells you exactly how much moisture is in each area. So we push this down into the green, push the button, it gives us a reading. And this was what would highlight all of these varied percentages. So hand watering allows us to target specific areas. The great thing about this is it allows us to maximise performance, deal with problems before they become a problem, but also as well minimise water usage. So where we can we'll use the automated system, but if anyone's out on the golf course looking to see why we've been hand watering and not using the automatic system, I hope this gives you a little bit of information. Thank you.